When the sun beams down, light can feel a little bit more brighter and a little bit more lighter. But y'all already knew that. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sean Benny 618 and I'm back. Yes, I'm back with another shoe review. Another one. We're going to keep doing these, all right? We're going to keep buying these shoes, and we're going to keep coming on here and doing these reviews, all right? Before I get into this one, though, I'm going to need you guys to do what? Subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Right below. Tap that subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Almost had a brain for it. I couldn't think. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, man. Um, yeah. I think it'd be cool to get notified when I drop a video. Like it comes to straight to your phone like a text message. Sean Benny 618. Notifying you that he just dropped the video, right? All right. I'm not even going to talk y'all out. Let's get into these Retro 13s. Dale Soul? Maybe I'm saying it right. Dale Soul. We just going to say it's Dale Soul. Fuck it. Let's get into it. Got him right here. Yeah. What's going on? We back, y'all. For to go ahead and unbox the new Retro 13s. Just came out this past weekend. Uh, unfortunately, I get mine late because I order mine on apps or online. So it takes like a week or so for mine to get here. So that's probably why y'all don't be seeing my videos drop the day of or prior because I get them off the of app. And it takes time to get here. And then when it finally gets here, I don't feel like doing a video. But... We knocking them out today, but yeah, we got the Retro 13s. I love the Retro 13s, um, 11, 12, 13 is some of my top Jordans, of course, cause look, I got it tattooed on me. The 13s, boom, the 11s, boom, the 12s, boom. Got it tattooed on me, so this shit is real. All right, so when I seen this colorway drop, I was like, whoa, they ain't never coming like this. Because you know, some of these colorways that they drop, they really be shitty. You know, but it's it's not too often that you will file a colorway that Michael Jordan didn't actually wear that actually looks good. So y'all doing good this year, Nike, uh, because the black and purple 13s was a sleeper, and uh, a lot of people kind of slept on those. I'm probably the only Jordans I actually wore this year, to be honest. I but uh here they go. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. The Dale Souls. One thing I do like about the shoe, and I already just showed that, but I love the bottom. Look at the bottom of the shoe, bro. The, with the red, the yellow. You can't tell me a throwback Houston Rockets jersey wouldn't slap. Oh. Let me stop putting y'all on. But yeah, this is the shoe. And like I said, if I'm saying the wrong, correct me in the comments. Dale Soul. That's what it looks like. Dale Soul. That's all. That's all. That's all. I don't know. But look, I got them. They're here. One more. I got them. All right. Retro 13 Del So First thing that I popped out on, like I said, I did like the bottom. I did like how they mixed the red with the yellow. I thought that was hella dope. They didn't just keep it yellow and black. I thought that would have been typical. But with the mixture of the red, man, you give it more leverage. You give it more leeway to do what you want to do with it. I, I always love the bubble. The Jordan bubble right there. Always love that bubble when I was a kid. I used to pump it up. I don't even know why. We used to say, if you pump it up, you'll be like Jordan type shit, you know? Um, they went crazy with the black bottle. Uh, so you already get your sides dirty. You know what I'm saying? Your sides won't get too dirty when you actually rocking them because you got the black side. These shoes is hard as fuck. And I think a lot of people slept on these. And y'all got to stop sleeping on these because these bitches is hard. I love the 13s. Uh, if you look close, though, in the bubble, I don't know if it still does this, but I know back in the days on the original 13s, it used to have a panther right there. And you used to see the panther, and you can see the 23 as well. It might have been a different animal, but I remember a panther. I think it was a black panther, to be honest. And around those times in the 90s, I'm pretty sure it was a black panther. All right, but these are the Del Sol's. Uh, like I said, beautiful shoe. Yes, I just sniffed it. Gotta sniff your shoes, make sure it ain't been worn. Beautiful shoe. Uh, everything looks good. The seams look great. All the dots right here looks good. Everything look good. The shoe looks great. 
uh, got a little glue right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a little glue right there. But you can fix that yourself. Uh, yeah. This shit hard. I can't wait to wear these. Like I said, summertime in Vegas, these are the type of shits you want to put on with some shorts, white tee, or tee to match the shit. Like, it's so typical. Now, if you see these boxes, these is, mm, I call these the more modern day mics. When you get these boxes, you get the modern day mics, not typically the original. Yeah, but it's looking like another shoe that might just be sitting in the closet. Hopefully not, though. I really see myself actually wearing these, like I said, with the throwback jersey. I think that should look hard. The bottom with the red. She I remember I had a phone case that was like this. It was hard. But yeah. Definitely got plans to put these on for the summer. Venice Beach. Something like that, you know? But yeah. We got them. Uh... Honestly, that day, I didn't think I was going to grab those shoes. Um, something about these raffles this year. I've been winning a lot of raffles. I normally don't win raffles, but it seemed like if I have it in my mind that I'm going to get the shoe, I usually win the raffle. So, these is dope. Um, I don't have any shoes for April that really was eye-popping to me. I really like, I like the fives that's dropping, but I'm not a big fan of retro fives. Uh, they got another pair of 13s dropping towards the end of the month. I might grab those. Uh, and there's some Georgetown retro ones that I might I might end up copping next weekend. Um, so I keep you guys updated, posted on that as well. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before we leave. Tap the notification bell, like I always say. Uh, yeah, this was another shoe review from your boy Sean Benny Six One Eight. Uh, the Retro 13s, Del Sol, like I said, if I'm saying it wrong, tell me in the comments. I don't care. Del Sol, Retro 13s, these bitches is hard. Make sure you got them. If you got them, good shit. If you don't, find them. You know, just don't pay no crazy price for them. They're not worth nothing over $250, all right? Um, but without further ado, you guys have a blessed day, man. This was another review from Sean Bennett 618. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. All right?